what's going on guys so my dad and I are on our way to go see a movie we're gonna go see Maleficent I've wanted to see this for a while the previews have been on for a really long time I feel like but it looks kind of badass I want to I've been wanting to see this one so I'm excited my dad and I just went to the gym together and we worked out for a little bit so um, we needed to catch our movie in time so I didn't really have time to get ready after the gym just kind of like threw my hair up and threw a shirt on but we're on our way we wanted to go to the movie when the kids are still in school so it's not like real crowded it's supposed to get pretty warm out here in Minneapolis today in the 90s can already feel it it's it's nice though I like it reminds me of California <laughs> but we came out to West End it's a little mall thing out in St. Louis Park St. Louis Park is that where we are yep and they have like a cool movie theater here We've caught, we always come here. We've got some yummy nachos. I needed some snacks because this movie's gonna be over lunchtime and I need to eat every couple hours. Dad's got popcorn and back. Want some salt on it? Some salt? Oh, they had like speci special buttery popcorn salt I saw back there. Maybe a little bit. I'm not supposed to have too much salt though. So we're just getting out of the movie and I, I would say it was overall good. Uh, they had like cool little creatures in there that were fun to look at in 3D. Some of it was kind of cheesy, but I guess that's just how some Disney fairy tale movies are. It had a different ending than the original Sleeping Beauty, but I enjoyed myself. Did you enjoy the movie, Dad? Yeah, it was okay. It's my last day at my dad's house. I'm going down to Northfield tonight because my little sister is graduating tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to her graduation ceremony. I took a couple days just taking it easy at my dad's house and not doing much, you know, traveling and the pregnancy. I just started to feel really, really drained and a lot felt like it was too much for me. So every once in a while you just need to rest and take it easy and I did that but I'm feeling good today I feel energized and and recuperated so that's nice John's driving down from his cabin and he's gonna come pick me up and I think John and my dad and I are gonna go out to eat and then John and my dad can talk for a little while and then we're gonna head down to Northfield after that. Here is my Xena shrine. I saw someone was asking about the pictures in the background in one of the vlogs and then in the middle here is Callisto and it has Hudson's autograph right there, the actress who plays her. Uh, there's light reflecting a little bit. I was a huge Xena nerd growing up. Well, I still am, but I made my dad take me to a Xena convention when I was like 10 years old and I got those there and then I have Xena action figures. I just, I love Xena. She was my hero. Oh my gosh. Oh, Xena movie now. Yeah. Xena movie now. Xena movie now. He's late and now he gets to walk in the rain. Hi. You're lucky I made it. Why? Because there's so much traffic and detours and rain. So we decided to get lunch at Applebee's. John really likes their fajitas, but he doesn't see it on the menu anymore. Neither, none of us see it on the menu anymore, so I don't know if Applebee's got rid of their fajitas or not. There's a bit of a thunderstorm going on outside. It was raining harder earlier, but we keep hearing thunder and lightning flashes. <laughs> what do you like here, Dad? I like their salads. I like their steaks. Mm. They have their bourbon steaks, they're good. That's the storm I just drove through, it's the beginning of it. There's a little bit of glare. Yeah. Oops, I just realized I forgot to vlog the rest of the time. But the food was really good, we were just kind of chowing down. Dad and John got walleye and I got a chicken breast sandwich. It's yummy. I got a little dessert shooter here that I'm finishing up. Dad already finished his. Are you gonna miss me? All right, so we're headed back down to Northfield. First, we're gonna stop at John's sister's house and see his nephews and niece. They're not really comfortable with the whole vlogging thing, so we're just gonna run in, and we're not gonna be there too long, and then we're headed down to Northfield. How much did you miss me? Um, a lot. I missed you a lot. Turn I missed you too. I mean, I really like being at the cabin fishing, though, so I really missed you, but I had a good time. That's I good. wish you would have been there. Yeah. Could have cooked my food. Soon we'll go up to the cabin together. Did my laundry. We're gonna try to take a trip up to the cabin with my dad um, sometime while we're here 
this trip back to Minnesota. We think that would be fun and then John can take my dad fishing and they can chat with each other, get to know each other better because they both really like to fish. Oh my gosh, those kids are so cute and funny. We were talking about baby names and his little nephew Max asked me what we're gonna name the baby and I said, I don't know yet. And then Max suggested that we name the baby Nipples. Yep, Nipples. <laughs> What do you think? You think Nipples is a good name for a baby girl? I don't know, I think so. <laughs> Especially if he grows up to have large nipples. Now it sure is coming down. Raining hard. Let's see if the dogs missed us. The dogs haven't seen either one of us in a few days. Lola's gonna be coming with me to my mom's though. Hey! Oh, what's that? Hey! Did you miss me? Are you happy? Hi! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? How much did you miss me? How much did you miss me? Oh, little Lola. Do you want to see Mariachi? Oh, good job. <laughs> I guess a fuse blew in the house. That's why it's so dark in here. Oh, no. Whew, John's grabbing all my stuff for me. I just made it out to my mom's house. Hi, Andre. Hello. Coming out to greet us. Mariachi! I know. Mariachi loves Lola. Hi, bud! Hi, bud! Did you miss me? I'm sorry I can't pet you right now. <laughs> Hello, everyone! Hi, Mom! Hello! Hello! Hello, John! Hello. Oh, I need to be polite. Would you like help? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can carry it. <laughs> Oops. I can carry that, I guess. Uh, no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Very polite, I know. Yay, so I just made it to my mom's house. John is bringing my suitcase down to my room for me. I guess Andre's been asking every five minutes for the past couple days where I am. Yes. And I'm here. I'm Hello. finally here. Huh? Finally. <laughs> Happy to see you. Happy to see you too. And look at you. You... Are you pregnant, Nikki? I think I might be, but I'm not sure. Wow. <laughs> yep. I have a belly now. Mariachi! <laughs> Look at that face. Lola, are you excited to Did be at Grandma's house? You excited to be at Grandma's house, Lola? She has to smell everything, make sure everything smells the same. Do you think she, she remembers it? Of course. Ooh, I'm getting some mango juice. I just was offered some. That sounds yummy. Well, we would when we were in Cabo, we had lots of mango juice. They had mango juice everywhere. Is that why you got it? <laughs> so it would be like Cabo? I just can Well, not really. Should I say yes? The politically <laughs> correct kidding. answer is yes. I was kidding. It's okay. You don't have to lie. Congratulations, John. Thanks. It takes two. <laughs> it takes two. <laughs> I guess you can really see my baby bump now. It's funny because, you know, not too long ago I would tell people that I'm pregnant and they would say, oh, you can't even really tell. And now I go out in public and if I'm shopping, strangers will ask me, oh, are you pregnant? We were out to, my dad and I were out to eat the other day and the chef said, oh, you look pregnant, are you? And I should have said, no, how dare you, jerk. I guess my room is done up all nice, special for me, so everyone's coming with me so that I can, so they can see my reaction when I see my bedroom. Wow, you got a new bedspread. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. That looks really, really nice. Good job. I like it a lot. I think it goes with the room a lot better than my high school leopard print <laughs> bedspread did. Did a little decorating. Mm -hmm. Dogs are following us everywhere and Mariachi keeps trying to hump Lola. He did a couple times already. So the other day I went and I registered for my baby shower at Babies R Us with John's sister. And it was so much fun. You go around with the little price gun scanning stuff. But I totally recommend going to the store, actual store, instead of just doing it online. Because I had started online, but when, you, when I went into the store, they give you a little goodie bag full of stuff, full of like some free stuff. You know, there's like a, a there was a little bib in there. Um, a bottle, some diaper samples, and then a bunch of coupons and things like that. But it made the experience kind of feel complete for me. I was like, oh, I get a goodie bag and I'm registering for my baby shower. 
You guys know what I'm saying? Yes. Look at these guys, all tuckered out, so cute. Lane in bed here, you're so cute. Yes, you are, Miss Lola. My mom and I have been sitting here talking for a while now and we got on to the subject of baby names and we still haven't found a name that John and I are in love with. So going through this book here of baby names and trying to think of something. I keep reading names and I'm like, yeah, that's okay, but no, that's not the name of my daughter. Nah. Nothing's clicking. It's hard. It's hard to name a baby. I don't know how people do it. How, how does everyone have a name? My little sister is still out and about, so I haven't got a chance to say hello to her yet. Waiting for her to get home. Hurry up, Donica. It's late. It's past your curfew. Here she is. Vicky! <laughs> we were worried about you. Let me see. It's because Taylor was there. Mom said that you hadn't slept in a really long time. Yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> Hi! Mickey! Almost graduate. I missed you. I missed you too. Oh, it's hard to, to hug and film at the same time. <laughs> oh, you're just a little thing. Look at you sitting on my lap. I know. It's like, it's like you're my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> one more day. Don Donica just walks up to me. She looks at my boobs and goes, whoa. And that was one of the first things my mom said when I came in too. My mom goes, whoa, look at your big breasts. <laughs> Always has to be breasts. Like, I hate that where I can be boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. Gotta wake up and graduate tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're going to go to bed here in a bit. Donica's got a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to watch my little sister graduate. It seems like it was just yesterday when she was a wee little Shut baby, up. and I was carrying her down the stairs, I'm and one so time sorry. I fell down the stairs, and Donica fell down the stairs with me. <laughs> I actually, no, I actually did so good though. I like positioned my body around you so that you wouldn't get hurt. And like, I just got hurt. So I like banged myself up to save baby Donica. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm a good person. That's so beautiful. <laughs> That's out of bed. Look at all the doggies. All right, guys, we're going to fall asleep to this thunderstorm in the background. We're going to watch some TV. So I'm going to wrap things up. Always remember, guys, that I love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. Good night. Hi. Mariachi. Say good night to everyone, Mariachi.